What's up guys, it's Will. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a uh, Spotify music bot for TeamSpeak. So uh, this is basically the thing that I'm going to be showing you guys how to install. It's called uh, Equalify, Equalify, something like that. Uh, it's a pretty cool thing. Basically it lets you change your uh, sound device. So uh, the first couple things that we're going to need in order to do this is of course Spotify. TeamSpeak 3, so I'm going to go ahead and log on to my TeamSpeak server. Alright. Here we go, so now I'm logged in. Alright. Uh, so you're going to need TeamSpeak, you're going to need Spotify. Once you have both of those installed onto your computer, you need these two files right here. You're going to need the equalify.zip, which will be in the description uh, down below. Basically, uh, it'll bring up this file right here. This file is a .msi, so basically you run that, you follow the instructions, and you're done. Uh, for this one, all you have to do is come into uh, the VAC virtual audio cable. You have to run either the setup 64.exe if you have a 64-bit computer, or if you have a 32-bit, you just run setup.exe. Once you've done that and you have that installed, you're just going to want to close it. Your sound may be messed up, so what you're going to head, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is go into your sound. Let me bump this back up to 50. You're going to want to go into your sound, click your mixer, go to where it says speakers, change the device to whatever your main device is. My main device is my Logitech G930 headset. In virtual audio cable, you may want to set up a second line. This will just make your life easier. All you need is the one line, though. You don't really need to worry about setting up virtual audio cable. All right. So once you have those done, you can just move those, delete those, you don't need them anymore. So what you're going to go ahead and do is, we're first going to start with the TeamSpeak thing. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into Settings, Options, Capture, and then you're going to want to click the little plus button right here. This will make a new user. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is name that Music Bot. I'm just going to put two T's because I already have one named. Uh, so you're just going to make one called Music Bot. This is what it's going to be set up to do. So basically, you're going to want to have it as capture mode, automatically use best. So that just leave that as that. You're going to want to go to line one virtual audio cable for the capture device. All right. You're going to want to set it to voice activation detection. You're going to want to go down here. You're going to want to set that all the way to the left. You're going to want to click advanced options and close that because we don't want the delay, we don't want the voice gain, and we don't want, the, want to remove background noise. So you're going to click OK on that, and you're done. You're going to go back into settings and options. You're going to go into playback. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to make one, and you're going to call it music bot. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go in, once you're in your music bot, what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to keep this one as playback mode uh, use best mode playback device this is where line 2 comes in handy you can also set it to something that you don't use so right now I have all my ones that I'm not using disabled so you might want to enable your sound card if you're not using that if it's not hooked up to speakers or anything like that you just want to hook it up to something that doesn't input or output sound so mine is virtual audio cable too um, you're gonna want to leave the voice adjustment level the the same you're going to want to put the sound pack volume all the way down because this will make it so it won't, uh, like, you basically won't hear the sound twice of somebody leaving and joining your channel. Yeah, this you can also set all the way down. I'm just leaving here because it doesn't really matter to me. Um, you're going to want to have mono, mono to stereo or mono to surround sound if available. Um, you're just going to leave these the same. You, these it really doesn't matter you can choose either or and then you're gonna click apply and click OK once you have that done you're gonna want to go ahead bring up Spotify you're gonna have to when, you're gonna have to have your Spotify closed once you install equal equalify equalify once you have that installed you're gonna reopen your Spotify so let me go ahead and sign out of my Spotify real fast wait and open it's going to automatically sign me in. You're not going to see it at the top left beside the search bar until you go into a song and you start playing a song. 
then it'll come up at the top left with the equalify equalizer you're gonna go ahead and click it you're gonna make sure that it is selected on you can click your reset button all of that shit doesn't really matter you can mess around with the base get your base how you like it get the middle you know get your mid high your high and then your preamp you can sort this all out the way you want doesn't really matter all of this is just pref uh, personal preference of what it's gonna sound like uh, so let me just set these all back to zero real fast alright so now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna right click anywhere you're gonna go to options you're gonna wanna go change sound device you're gonna wanna change it from primary sound driver to line one because that's what we have it set to you're gonna click set new it's gonna come up with this message you'll need to restart Spotify manually for the changes to take effect you're gonna click OK you're gonna close Spotify you're gonna completely exit out of Spotify you're gonna come back and reopen it now when you come into a song and you start playing it you're not gonna hear anything because right now it's playing the music through line one so now what you want to do is you want to grab your team speak you want to go to bookmarks manage bookmarks right here you're going to want to select your identity as your music bot your capture profile as your music bot your playback profile as your music bot leave the hotkey and sound pack as default all right and you can change your name here change the server address here and put in the server password uh, phonetic name doesn't matter default channel you can set default channel if you want to the channel password you guys should already know all this you get to that by clicking the more button right here so you're gonna need to click that more button before you see all those other options you're gonna click apply you're gonna exit out of that little menu bookmark menu you're gonna go to bookmarks you're gonna right click it click connect a new tab once you have your music bot connected you're gonna move it down to a music lounge that you have already preset up which I forgot to do so let me do that real fast so basically the way you do it is you edit the channel you go to audio you click music and you drag the slider to 10 once you've done that you should see a little music icon next to it let me do it for these last two rooms real fast there we go so now you see my music bot is inside the music channel that I have set up the codex and the code C sorry is opus music and the quality is 10 so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move ourselves up there so right now this is me and this is the music bot we're gonna go into our music bots Spotify and we're going to play a random song so let's play this real fast all right so like I said that's basically about it right there once you have that done, you can change the preamp, the high, the low, mid, mid, high, bass, all of that stuff. You can also use the limiter. Doesn't matter. I don't really care. Um, you can also toggle all this stuff if you really want to. You can add plugins. You can add skins. You know, make it look cool. Make it look you. I just leave mine as the regular Spotify just to blend in more. But that's basically about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Thank you.